Planning is a future course of action which bridges the gap between what you are and what you want to be. Planning reduces the risk of uncertainty. That's the very important point which I always tell my students. Directing comes before controlling. Controlling goes after directing. It can be anyhow. Hello everybody, a warm welcome to one and all. I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students for the fourth chapter revision and the fourth chapter is all about planning. Now I want you people to plan for your examination, how well you're gonna prepare for it. That much will be benefited for you people. Now, I'll just tell you here, students, planning is something if you do it, you will understand that the beauty of planning and how you can accomplish your goals. Suppose if you have taken a plan saying that I will score 100 on 100 in business study. You see, your planning is done, right? Now, what is that you should do is you need to follow the steps in planning. Today, I'm going to teach you the steps in planning, types of planning, the meaning of planning the limitations and the benefits of planning. So what's our topic for the day is meaning, importance, feature, limitation, planning process and types of plan, which will help you to prepare yourself for the examination which gonna come. So what exactly planning is? Now I have told you many a times, planning is a future course of action which bridges the gap between what you are and what you want to be. Now, planning is always future course of action. See, we cannot plan for yesterday. We cannot plan for the time which has already happened. So we need to plan for what? The things which need to happen. That is what it bridges the gap. Now, planning is all about advance, right? So I've given you here a very simple topic. That is the planning is deciding in advance what to do and how to do. Now, please understand this is what Ordinal and Coons have also defined planning as a process which explains all the answers of the questions what to do, who should do it, how to do it, when it should be done and what are the efficient standards which we need to put. So that is what the planning will actually help us to answer these questions. Now here are managerial functions when we go with it. Planning seeks to bridge the gap between where we are and where we want to go. That is what the planning definition and the planning meaning is. I'll give you a simple example here. Say right now we are in 2023, right? Now we will plan it for 2025, say two years we are supposed to plan, right? Future course of action. So here what happens is I'm making a profit of one lakh rupees per month now in 2025 i need to increase my profit say i will go with 5 lakh rupees per month now what is planning planning bridges the gap between where you are and where you want to go and what exactly you are doing and what exactly you want to do that is what is that you want to achieve so that is what planning is all about so next topic here if you go with it that is importance of planning the benefits of planning advantage of planning merits of planning any type of a question it comes now in this chapter you don't have eight mark question so you need to prepare only for four mark question that means any four points of any topic if you go with it you will get four on four so don't study the entire one because this time it is not about hard work it is all about smart work so in this chapter you will not get a question for eight marks you will only get a question for four marks so if you get a question explain any four importance of planning you are supposed to choose any four i have given here more so you can go with it say planning provides direction i told you who should do it when it should be done how it should be done so it gives you direction Planning reduces the risk of uncertainty. That's the very important point which I always tell my students that is if you have any uncertainty in your life, if you feel that it can be a risk, you should plan properly. Planning reduces overlapping 
and wasteful activities. Now, what usually happens is if we don't plan, sometimes we do repeated work. And when we do repeated work, work what really happens is the waste is more than utility. You will use less and you will actually do what? Waste many things. That is what it reduces overlapping and wasteful activities. Next is planning promotes innovative ideas. The more you plan, what happens is some other day you will get a beautiful planning structure that is okay this is what i need to do that's the reason the more and more creativity the more and more innovation happens only when you plan properly next is planning facilitate in decision making the majority people plan only to make a good decisions right to take good decision we plan isn't it or else we can do just like that the last one is planning establish standards for controlling so in the controlling chapter, if you remember, I have told you that very difficult thing is to set the standards because controlling is a process of comparing actual performance with standard performance. So to know what is the standard, we need to plan properly. So that's the importance of planning. So we're going to move with the next one. After importance is what? That is the features of planning. Now again, this question can come for four marks so study any four points and then you are supposed to explain it so the first one is planning focuses on achieving objective any process of management be it planning organizing staffing directing and controlling they always achieve or they always want to achieve the objectives second is planning is primary function of management see here when we go with it right we have the functions of management the first function of management is planning so that's why it is what it is a primary function of management the second thing is organizing then you have staffing then you have controlling then you have directing so here what happens is directing comes before controlling controlling goes after directing it can be anyhow right now here also Organizing can come to staffing, staffing can come to organizing, no issues, it can go anyhow. But the primary aspect is what? That is planning only. That's why planning is a primary function of management. Next is planning is pervasive. When we go with this pervasive, universally accepted, everywhere people, whoever goes with management, they need to understand that they need to follow the first thing called as planning only. And Planning is continuous and planning is mental exercise. See, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling, without planning exercises, all those things are null. So that is why planning is continuous plus planning is what? Mental exercise. So these are the things which you need to go with. It. Next is the limitations of planning. When we go with limitations of planning, the first point which I always tell my students is see whatever you plan in life whatever it may be it may be finance it may be friends it may be parents relatives cousins your uh, best friends your close ones whatever it is whenever you plan something you know within themselves the first thing is that all plans will not lead to success you can't convert all plan into 100% success so that is the ultimate limitations of planning and planning is rigid planning is not flexible it is what it is very rigid so next is planning may not work in dynamic environment sometimes though, though you have done a proper planning you cannot control the macro environment though you can control the micro environment you can't control macro environment so here what happens is in dynamic environment planning may not work next is planning reduces creativity now you feel that sir in the importance you said planning creates innovation but now planning reduces creativity why are you giving this point this i'll explain it to you see usually we have this levels of management we have the top level middle level supervisory level so here what happens is in the top level we have the c class 
Now, when I say C class, it is the CEO, CFO, COO, CTO, all those people are C class. Now, here planning is done by the top level management. See, when planning is done by the top level manage management, though the middle level as well as supervisory level, there are people who are giving a best course of action to the top management, best course of action. That is a best course of action. The best beautiful plan till now being constructed or structured is given by supervisory level or middle level. But still, the top level management will not accept it because of their ego, because of their status, because they feel that how can a middle level or supervisory level people can give that kind of a structure. So what they do is they reject it. That is where planning reduces creativity because all plans are done by whom the top level management so i have explained it to you the autocratic leaders authoritarian leaders that is where the limitations will come that is planning reduces creativity next is planning involves huge costs the reason why huge costs is the top level management will not plan just like that they will go with market search market research market survey so all these things the statistical tools they're gonna use they will go and they'll collect primary data secondary data so here what happens is it's a huge cost because you have strategic plan people are there who will come they salary is so high so all these is what huge cost planning is time consuming process reason is within a day you will not plan and you will not give the strategic plans to the top level management or the people who really want it right so what happens it is time consuming you need to do more research about it planning does not guarantee success so this is the ultimate planning whatever you do right see all the companies what they do is whenever they manufacture any product before manufacturing the product they'll actually go with market survey market research market uh, expenditures how much it will be market expertise how much they have predicted the sales everything they're gonna calculate right everything they're gonna collect and then they'll plan according to it and then they will introduce the new product to the market now everything was according to plan now the ultimate thing is what the customers need to come and they need to buy the product now what happens is now the customer did not like the product now what will happen is planning you have done it but still sales is not increasing so what is the thing planning does not guarantee success this is how we need to go with it next we'll go with the topic called as the planning process now whenever i say process it is always step by step the first step in planning process is setting standards so when you go with this setting standards the setting objective itself becomes your standard so the first point here is what setting standards and that to what that is your objective setting objective the second is developing premises third is identification of alternate course of action next is evaluating alternate course of action the later part is selecting the best course of action or selecting the plan and then what is that you're going to do is here you will implement it after implementation you need to follow up whether we are doing it right or wrong so here what happens is selecting or setting objective developing premises identifying alternate course of action evaluating alternate courses selecting an alternative implementing the plan and then the follow-up action this is called the steps in planning process now this planning process can also become in a different question that is a poq question they're gonna give you list out the planning process or steps in planning then you are supposed to write these things and that is how you will uh, get five on five because it is a poq question the next topic here we're gonna go is the last one types of plans now plans what exactly are there we know that there are few plans called single plan and standard plan what is it single plan and standard plan now i have given here single use plan and standing plan now when we go with this single use plan only once we use this kind of plan say the best example is budget only once we actually 
go with budget right the next is standing plan if you go with it routine every day you do the same kind of a thing that is called standing plan apart from that we have types of plan which i have given it in the classes also that is the pyramid type right now i'll tell you how to remember it so when you are supposed to remember this see don't go with these things which i have written here i'll just tell you how to write the types of plans so whenever you go with it you draw a triangle you make eight tires right eight say here one two three four five six you are done now i'll extend it seven and eight so we have eight one two three four five six seven eight how to go with it is it's very simple oh yes the minute you see the question you are supposed to say oh yes next p p right i'll tell you what exactly this oh yes p p is right perfect pattern is called p p oh yes perfect pattern has come and we all know business study students m r p what is it m r p maximum retail price that is how you need to remember this oh yes p p m r p and the last is b now b in the sense budget right budget is a latin word now converted into french word and then they gave it to you that is called batwa that is wallet your purse so o in the sense objective s in the sense strategy there are three p's actually 1 2 and 3 so you can go with any kind of a thing say policy procedure and you have one thing called program so here the program is there m r is there right m in the sense method r in the sense rules so here see methods rules and the last one is what budget budget so this is how you people will write o s p p m r p b whatever you do guys objective should be there when you have an objective you need to strategize how to get the work done after that you need to do a proper program or a policy or a procedure next there will be a method which you can change alter it right and then you need to set something called ground rules right how to go with it the rules should be given and whatever it is the finance is very very important so budget is very very important so these are called types of plan any doubt in these sessions no please do call us we are always there to help you now when we go with uh, all these revisions here what i always tell my students is never fear for examination because examination is just an exam right so don't worry about it follow all my all my classes and uh, you can score 100 on 100 thank you so much i'll see you when i see you